Hello everyone, it's Nancy Bastien and I got an ATC in the mail from Cheryl Hill and I got it yesterday and so they are beautiful and let's see there's there's a little inchy she put in there isn't that gorgeous? See that? It's a sparkle. Pretty. And here's the ATCs. Those are pretty. Pretty, pretty. And this one says dream. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you so very, very much. I'm going to get these in my notebook and yeah they will be pretty 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 in there well what we're going to do today is finish up these um, inchies and twinchies <clears throat> that I started yesterday and we're going to UT them this is ultra thick embossing enamel that's what UT is and I pour it in a glad thing like this and use it from here but I've got enough in there so I will get started on doing these I need to keep that lid close by so oh and I wanted to tell you what happened what happened yesterday see this little birdie this little wooden birdie that I put on here well I wanted to paint him with my little luminaire uh, paints and it wouldn't come out and it wouldn't come out and I was squeezing it and squeezing it and squeezing it and it went poof everywhere I mean it came flying out of there all up my arm didn't get on my clothes thank goodness so I just had to save it and I just painted it just painted it I have cut all the borders see how pretty they are I haven't inked these yet. I'm going to ink these up a little bit on the edges. Just because I think they're bit. I'm just not going to put anything on them. I'm just making them look like a stamp. And I'm just going to UT them to harden them up a little bit. And I'm using a blue ink. And I got a piece of that tape. I've had that tape stuck to me everywhere. So yeah, I'm just going to ink these up, and then I got to find my, I thought I was prepared, but I need to find my embossing thingy, my bobber ink, not ink glue, ink pad that has glue on it. I need to start getting these things together. I try real hard. But I just forgot that I needed to get that embossing ink. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. I need to give you another little update on my mother-in-law. She um, had two big clots removed from both um, growing, both sides, both legs in her growing and uh, it's, you know she's 91 years old and it's been taking a toll on her she's on a hundred percent oxygen because uh, 95 she had half of the top half of her lungs taken off from emphysema and um, heart um, not, not a transplant uh, bypass done in her heart. I don't know how many bypasses they had to do. But she has been um, working so hard and then finally towards um, I think it was the early 2000s that she had to go on complete oxygen 24-7. And um, but she's been doing really good and she was going to rehab every day and exercise, or not every day but every week twice a week and exercise it no I think it was just once a week 
and exercising and she see, she says that's what kept her alive. She's 91 years old. She just turned 91. And um, so anyway, she um, yeah, this hospital stay has been really really hard on her. And I'm going to move these. I'm going to do these big ones first. And I'm going to move all these little ones out of the way because they'll blow away when I do this. So what I'm going to do is, so today um, they're trying to get her up and sitting up so that um, yesterday she had to lay still. She had to lay it right still and then they took the tubes out of her growing, that artery that's in your growing. They took the tube out of that and then she had to lay real still and couldn't move and it was just really making her anxious, which it would, anybody. Let's see if I got enough glue on that. For this UT to stick to it. I'm going to do this two times on it and you will see how uh oh one of my beads fell off. That's not good. That's not good at all. How come that happened? So Anywho, she um, she's up and sitting today. They're hoping maybe she'll be able to come home, but she needs she's awful weak. She needs help to the bathroom and walking. And I'm gonna let that one sit a minute, and. Um, I'll come back to it and do that one. Let's do this one. So, that's the update on the mother-in-law. So, we've been praying for her to get better. This is, you know, 90-year-old 90 takes a toll on you to go to the hospital. Now, I really hate the feel of this stuff on my hands. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it with these hemostats. And then I'm going to melt it and then while it's hot, put it back in the thingamabobber and do it twice so you'll see this start to melt I'll probably do it on the front and the back just to make it hard This way you don't have to put it in the ink again or the glue again. And this is what I put on my beads, my paper beads, when I make my paper beads. Maybe do it one more time. I see it's not getting on a couple places, so
Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do that. And push it down. Hopefully it'll go flat. All right, let's do this one that we've got. I lay the stuff on it. Try to get it in there as soon as you can without letting it cool off too much. There we go. That one little corner up there didn't get any. And it got really thick down here. I don't think it had enough juice on it to begin with. I'm going to try it one more time. Can you all see what I'm doing here? This stuff gets really hot when it's melted and it will burn you. Just like that. I'm going to pull you in a little closer. You kind of see what's going on. Maybe I want my tweezers instead of these hemostats because my tweezers release better. Need a drink of water, guys. I'm really thirsty. I'm really been hot and thirsty. So I'm drinking a lot of mineral water and it's fizzy and it'll probably make me burp. But I'll try to be ladylike and not belch. Push this down really hard into the ink pad and get everything on there. And I'm thinking then I might just go to my three, do one more of these and I might just go to my three, I'll do the little ones and then go to my triple gloss stuff because this seems not to be what I, I'm doing what I want it to do. Okay. 
That has a hair in it. Can you believe it? A hair. Yeah, I can believe it. Oh, you know what? That's curling that that uh, tape. The heat is curling the tape right up. Well, of course Nancy would do that. These are going to be some interesting twin cheese. gonna be interesting. Let's do these little, you know what, I'm just gonna get the triple out. The triple and show you how that works. We did these and I'm not happy with them because they're curling and my tape So let's get the triple. I got it right over here. I got it in two forms, a spray and a paint on. And I'm going to just paint it on triple thick is what it's called. And. get a piece of wax paper right here oh, got that embossing powder everywhere I hate the feel of that grit. I'm not going to need the heat gun anymore. Unless I need it to get the lid off. Nope. See, this stuff is really thick. I love this stuff. I've had this for a long time. I think I bought it from Michael's a long, long time ago. And I'm going to leave them on the wax paper to dry, and hopefully they don't stick together. This stuff is like, I'll show you, it's like honey. want to do that. I probably should use the spray, but then I'd have to go outside. And it's windy out there. There's a hot breeze blow. My husband thinks it's a cool breeze, but oh my gosh, it's hot. It's the 4th of July today, and happy 4th of July to anybody who's celebrating. We were going to celebrate over at Mom's today, and but 
we're not going to do that anymore because she's not home. We were going to get some fried chicken and have a nice dinner over there. She ruined it. No, she didn't. I th imagine it was pretty, pretty scary for her to wake up or to lay down. She lays down a lot when she gets tired and to lay down and wait and try to get up and can't feel anything in your legs from the your legs are numb from the knee down. That would scare me to death. And I'm sure it did her. She's an RN, so she takes things pretty you know, she doesn't get all excited about things. I think she was just a little bit scared. And she couldn't walk and Linda couldn't help her. So they called the ambulance and they had to carry because her hallway is too narrow to get a um, stretch her down so they had to carry her out to the living room to get a get her on the stretcher yeah to take her to the emergency room and that was Saturday no it was Sunday was Sunday that happened. Linda had just come home from church. And sometimes it's really hard to leave an elderly person alone for any length of time because you never know what's going to happen to them. But she has a button. And if Linda hadn't come right away, she would have pushed that button one of those I've fallen and I can't get up she would have pushed that button for some help that's what it's there for and then they would have got a hold of Linda and told her what would happen but luckily she didn't have to use that so can you see they're getting about the same as the UT only they're not, well, they kind of are curling up. But when I go over the backs of them, they'll be good. But this hardens them up so they're not just like paper. Plus, it gives them a cool little shine. get a new paper for those ones get off of there can you see what I'm doing I hope I'm hope I'm in frame well, that one wanted to just come over there and get done also I like these little stamp, the ones that look like stamp stamps. Okay, I'm going to set these somewhere to dry. Move it off of that place it was on. Now sit these over here to dry. And get a baby wipe and wipe that tweezers off. Because they're getting kind of grody with UT and triple thick. So 
So I hope you guys are all having some fun today. Those that celebrate the 4th of July. Our United States Independence Day. If I was in Utah, I would be going to the parade and being with my kids and having a cookout. And then we go to the fireworks at night after the after the cookout we go into a park and we sit there and wait till the fireworks go off. They have fireworks in the BYU Stadium. And that took my tape off. And um uh, they have a probe in inside the stadium and then they shoot fireworks off so you better take something to entertain you with at the park because it's a long time before you see the final so after like 10 o'clock when you see the final big booms go off the Osmonds brothers started that program in the stadium years ago and my ex-husband and I and his parents would go quite often we'd get tickets to go take the kids the little ones they got a big kick out of it one time they had Bob Hope there and it was the awfulest show he was uh, it was terrible he did it like a UFO, like a U.S. What did he do over in Vietnam? Those, I don't know, those programs that he would go out and do on for the troops. He did it like that. and Oh, it was just awful. He used awful language. And you don't do that at BYU. BYU is very Mormon. Very very religious and people were booing him off the stage and it just didn't work out very good for him USO one of those USO programs not UFO that's space all right I'm gonna get a clean wax paper and do the backs of these other ones. I'm going to set these over here to dry. See if they will uncurl. I'm trying to get these done so I can get them out. Out to my peoples. I have a video uploading on the to uh, YouTube right now, so now that's still gonna curl because these are made out of just paper and not like cardboard I might have to back them nah I'm not going to I'll just send them like they are maybe they'll straighten out when they're dry I can always hope Put some heavy stuff on them. Yeah, I used to coat all my uh, 
beads in this until I discovered UT. And then I just, my paper beads, I just UT'd them and oh, they came out so pretty. Alright. We're going to let that, and this is good because it cleans up with soap and water. So I just put my brush in the water and let it sit there and it comes right off. And okay guys, I'm going to get this edited and up and take pictures of the final results. And I'll talk to you next time when I do a next video. Thanks for watching guys and if you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up and thanks everybody for subscribing that have subscribed and leaving me comments and if you haven't subscribed please do and push the little bell button next to the subscription and it will give you notifications of when my next videos are out and i thank you for watching and i thank you all my subbies thank you so much bye bye